guys, so I thought today I would do a little bit on Horse Reality. It's a game that I haven't been playing for very long, but I have been getting very addicted to it, I have to say. And the reason I like it is because of how in-depth it is. Now, you can go to the city here, and you've got a horse market, you can retire horses, um, you can buy them from the foundation here. You know, there's so much you can do. Um, there's a wholesaler, equi store, there's a university as well, which you can learn a... A trade basically but I think that's not working right now that's still in development then it's got things like um, veterinary services laboratory and a riding school where you can work and earn money I did find uh, making money at first I have to say I did drop some real-life money I do like supporting games if they interest me a lot and this game has really taken my interest I have to say then there's the wildlife park I don't really do that a lot because it's got horses in it that you can catch but they aren't really a horse that I'm interested in so I gave that one a miss. Then there's the Equi store where you can uh, buy all of your goods and everything, bedding and um, equipment for your horses. Here are my stable blocks that I've got at the moment now. I was originally just going to do Frisians and I started off with Frisians and then I went on to Clad Rubers and then I went on to Nab Strippers. And then I went on to the PRE, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that one. And then I went on to the Trikainers as well. Um, yeah, I just, I love these horses so much, and I'm sorry if I butchered the name, um, Nabstrooper, but yeah, <laughs> these names are hard, <laughs> especially when you have to try and say them out loud. Normally I just, you know, read them, but yeah. So I'll show you the horses I've got so far. Now, I have to say that some of them are not good, like Bagheera here, he was one of the first horses I bought when I was clueless. I was completely clueless, and I had no idea really. I thought, oh, look, a pretty horsey, so I just bought him. And I did actually breed him with a couple of my mares, so I'm interested to see how the foals turn out with them. And the reason that you can tell that a mare has been covered is she will have this clock next to her. And yeah, at the moment, let's see here how far along they are. Because it, even though they're covered, it doesn't mean that they will um, be pregnant. So um, yeah, you have to wait a certain amount of days. So she was just covered today by Noir. I do have other horses that are a little bit further along than her though. Um, maybe Dutch Bacardi. Okay, so she was two days. Yeah, that was Bagheera. And then I think of oh, my Frisians, Indy Naja was also Bagheera. Yeah, so I'm not expecting anything great from these two foals, but it's just interesting, you know? And then on my other blocks, well, I've got foals as well. These are the foals that I'm uh, training and nurturing at the moment. Hoping to get something good out of these ones. All the stats. Or as high as I could get them. There aren't a lot of, you know, high sort of level Frisians on the market that I could see with the um, GP score being, you know, higher than sort of 600 than really expensive. <laughs> and I, I haven't really seen any that are really high. Not like the other horses that I've got in, for example, the Nabstroopers, I think. Yeah, some of these are at 707 and 802 for Call Me. Now he's a gelding, he's the only gelding that I've got, Call Me Lee. And I'm hoping once I've trained him up, he's going to be a nice dressage horse. So his GP total is 802. And if you look here, he's got good or very good. So they're all good and very good. So I'm hoping that one day, once I've trained him up, he will be a good horse. So I've got to just keep working on the training with him. Now he has energy here. And if I do training and things of him, then his physical fitness and his affection will also go up. So, let's do that with him. So he's got 31 energy, so I will change it to this. And then do some training with him. Lovely. I do need to go through all of my horses and get more training done on them. Um, let's look at the other stables though before we do that. So, yeah, the clad rubers. I've got two foals here. And these... Basically these numbers and everything that I've put under them, that's their GP score and then this is their confirmation score. So on this foal it is 4 very good, 7 good and 1 average. So let's go and have a look in achievements. So there you can see the 1 average there and the very goods and goods. And that just lets me basically keep an eye on things without having to go into every single horse and look. So. I've done that on every horse. Every horse has its stats all written down there. I'm not going to be putting this sort of the coat 
things in, in there. I don't think that's necessary right now. Dark Mystery needs looking after, so we're going to go and do that. I did buy Premium because I really enjoy the game, so I do like to support games that I enjoy. So I did buy Premium just to see what it offered. And it is quite good for when you're on the market and you can refine your search a little bit better. So where were we? Clad Rubers. So those are Clad Rubers. And here, oh, I do like this guy, Dust Cat. I think he's absolutely gorgeous. Really love him. And I love looking at the pedigrees and naming my horses from the pedigrees as much as I can. Some horses it's hard to because they've only got like one name and it doesn't suit the horse, but that's what I'm trying to do with most of these horses. Let's see here how I named this one. So Rowdy Nax. So I would normally take from the parents, but um, Rowdy was from a grandparent. And then um, where was Nax from? Oh yeah, that was from the parent here for Nax. So I just took Nax. But I'm trying to do it from the parents as much as I can, if possible. It's just I couldn't really get anything from Meverina. So yeah, I have accidentally bought horses that are a little bit inbred. <laughs> um, yeah, that's because I'm a noob. And I sometimes forget to check absolutely everything. So here's my PRE block and I have a pregnant, well, a, a mare with a foal here and she is also pregnant. Well, I hope she's pregnant. She's been covered. And this was a stud that I got who isn't in my stable, but I, I saw him um, competing and I was like, oh, he looks nice. So um, yeah, I bought his services and covered my mare with him, hoping that they will produce something. So if we go back to the horses, where were we at? Yeah, so that was those. And then these are the two foals that I've got here. And yeah, his stats are pretty good. 660, 390. And then the Trocana block. Oh, okay. So these two horses have a funny story. So originally I got Firefly and she's fully trained. She's already fully trained. And I was like, wow, that's great. Um, she, I bought her pregnant. She's doing three days. And this is the horse that she was bred with. And if you look at his genetics, you know, he's got a good GP total and pretty pretty decent. He's got two averages on there, but that's okay because I'm hoping that the foal will have good, good or very good in the confirmation areas where for dressage, which is canter, trot, walk and posture. So hopefully, because his stats are good in those four, I will have a good dressage horse. Hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> we'll see. So yeah, it's all very exciting and I am very excited as you can probably tell. I'm just like, ooh, ooh <laughs> lots of stuff to do, lots of horsey things. Now, Firefly, let's get back to this story. Okay, so she's already a sort of, you know, a good horse. She's won lots of prizes. She's trained in dressage. And I then bought another horse. So I was like, oh, you know, I went on a bit of a spree, let's say. And then I bought this horse, Moonlight. When I looked at the pedigree, who was there? Firefly. So I bought a mother and a daughter and I thought that was so sweet. So then when I named the foal, uh, so we've got Firefly, Moonlight and then I, I named the foal, I um, can't remember what I named it, uh, let's have a look here. Do, 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 go back there, Fire Moon. You can see so it's from you know the relations and it's kind of nice to have those both and I Normally, I don't do any trainings, so I don't need to with those. I just normally just enter them straight into shows. So let's do that with her right now. Oh, actually, I think she's already in a show. If you go to competitions, dressage. Okay, so we have six seconds left. Okay, so let's see where we're at with this. Okay, so um, we're right at the bottom here. Okay, so Firefly is in second and Moonlight is in sixth place. So, oh, I will get a prize for Firefly, hopefully. Earlier on today, I do believe she came first in something. So I got like 5,000. I want to say gold, but it's not its not called gold. It does actually have a proper name. <laughs> but I'm still kind of noob and I can't remember. Uh, what was it called? Not DP. HRC. There we go. Yeah. So, competitions. So we're waiting for the awards ceremony. So we should find out in a couple of seconds or minutes if she's won anything for that. And then, if we go back to here, we have the foals that I'm rearing as well. I'm very excited about these two here for competition, especially Nimble Dragon and Cisco. See, some horses might not be great for 
competition, as in their GP score isn't that great. But then they'll have this. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. With these horses, what I'm planning to do is breed them into horses with good GP scores. And I'm entering these horses themselves into confirmation shows. So that's where they go for their, their shows. The horses that aren't really like great stat-wise competitions, but have good um, confirmation for the confirmation shows. So, let's see here. Um, let's go down, there we are. So, who could I enter in here? Um, so I put, basically this, this here means dressage. This here means confirmation, and if I haven't put it, it's because the horse isn't trained yet enough to choose what it's going to do. But if I have put that in already, it means that it is good enough to do what that is already. So we can enter Nimble Dragon and Cisco Chardonnay into a confirmation show. And yeah, we'll see how they do. Now, you do have to buy halters and show halters if you're going to be doing it because it does help improve um, their chances as well. So let's just see where that, where we're at with these. Okay, so obviously these horses are not the best, but they're still in, they will get like the first, first placing, but not the, um, the top placing there. And yeah, Nimble Dragon will be a second place, so that, that's fine, I'm happy with that. They're doing really well so far. And it is in categories of foals, mares, and stallions. Now there isn't a separate category for geldings, which I was kind of surprised at. So the geldings go in the same category as the stallions. Um, other than that, you've got your estate where you can buy round pens, you can um, pasture your bowls, this guy will look after them for you. I have my freezer. So I've been collecting samples from my studs. And uh, yeah, those are good for the studs that are slightly older. For example, I think Red Bull is getting on a bit. But I got him because of his stats and I knew that I would be able to collect his samples and keep them and then still breed from him even after he's gone. So, Or even sell them maybe I think you can do. I'm not sure how you do sell them. Um, I think they on the, um, the forums there was talk about bringing that into the market as well. So that would be good. Oh, I think we have the results through. So let's go look at Firefly and see what she got for that. So horses, Firefly, achievement, sorry, she was there. Okay, so today, there we are, look, she got second place and then she got first earlier. And yeah, she's just a really good horse and you know, she's she's only got sort of good, she's got two averages there as well, and um, her GP is 802, but she seems to just do really well. She's a really good horse, very pleased with her. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very excited. I'm not going to be buying any horses today, um, as you can see I have been stocking up, but there are some horses that I have offers on. Now I got outbid on these two here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until the time goes down a little bit and then bid because otherwise it will just be bidding them up. It's a bit like eBay, you wait until the last minute I think and then bid again. These ones have got 4 days and 6 days so there's really no point in me worrying about that even though I'm top bidding, top bidder right now. Um, I don't have to worry about those but this one I do have to keep an eye on because it's in 15 hours and it's already at 22k oh gosh but this horse looks great. Let's have a look at this guy. Okay, so very cute, lovely coat. <laughs> GP title is 822, which is wow. And then it's good in everything that it needs to be for, I think I was going to take it into jumping or dressage, I can't remember. Is it could do dressage, it could definitely do dressage and um, jumping as well, I think. I don't think Gallop is in the jumping confirmation. I will just have to look at my notes here because um, I don't know it all off by heart yet. So confirmation is back, canter, front legs, hind quarters and shoulders. So yeah, he could do that as well. She, sorry, it's a girl. <laughs> Broken Moon. I'll probably change that name because I have a couple of moons already. And So I could change her name to like Wild, Wild Virtue or 
rare rare ride or rare wild wild rare something like that that's what I like to do <laughs> so I probably won't be taking names for these horses just because I want to keep it the continuity of the um, you know the pedigree going on there but yeah overall I'm just really into the game I'm actually very surprised now not totally surprised because of how much I like Wild Horses Valley and I have to say the artwork on Wild Horses Valley is superior like the artwork is better on Wild Horses Valley but there's just so much more to do on Horse Reality because it's about you know stable life running stable running a barn running breeding you know looking after your horse whereas Wild Horses Valley is like a wild horse herd so it's, it's two games that you can't really compare and as for the other web, web, web browser games like Horse, I can't pronounce it, it's H-O-W-R-S-E. I have tried that one in the past and you know what, I really just couldn't get into it. There's just something about it that I don't really like. It's just not the game for me, you know. So yeah, um, that's where we're at at the moment. I'm going to go through and do some training. So let's do some training. Now Bagheera, um, what should you, we train you in? So... Let's go down to training and he, oh he's almost there and he will be completion of second level so he has 36 so we can probably move up to this one and do this and then he'll be a step closer to being trained and he's not the best horse in the world as I said he's the first sort of region I bought so he does hold a special place in my heart for that respect he's 15 years old whether I keep him or not who knows but yeah and one thing I found I was doing is I was completing a level and then I was immediately going on to the third level and I then thought to myself, hang on a bit, but won't they get higher scores if they completed that level and then compete with that level before they then move on to the third level? So I'm going to test that theory. I'm going to test out once he is um, fully trained in second level. I'm going to see if he does any better in second level before I move on to third, you know, so that's another thing I was going to do. Oh yeah, and you can scroll through them like this. But I'm not sure, it goes like in alphabetical order like this and I don't really like it so I'm just going to like go back and then see what horses need doing. Dark Mystery needs doing. So we'll go through to her. Her physical fitness and affection is getting a bit low too. So, so she has 30 so we can probably do this one. Okay, so that's her done. And then we have Dutch Bacardi, which I kind of like that name. <laughs> kind of like it a lot, actually. Um, so, free walk. 30 minutes. Can she do that? Yeah, she can. Okie dokie. So, the next one. Oh, there was a few more here. Indy Naja. Oh, I think if we do her, she'll be complete. Yeah, that's nice. So, that's great. So I won't bore you guys with going through all of them, although one thing that is good with the premium that I got, you can care for all horses, so you don't have to go through your whole block and find the ones that need caring for. So that's another good feature, so it's worth it for the care for all horses and the search fun function on the um, marketplace. And also I think in the veterinary area you can select all. And I really wish they would put this at the bottom because I nearly accidentally gelded a horse. I really wish that was at the bottom or there was a are you sure? Because um, with one click I could just geld a horse and then never be able to breed from it again. Oh, this one's quite interesting. You can breed a horse into heat and uh, she can immediately then breed, which is great. And once a female is pregnant, you can get an ultrasound and she's confirmed as being pregnant. And if she shows up in the ultrasound that she has twins, then you can uh, remove a twin. You don't have to, but there is um, a risk, so yeah. And obviously you have to vaccinate, health check, and then you have to go and get them shooed at the blacksmith here. I think they're all done, yeah, and have hoof treatments if they need any hoof treatments. And remember just to keep going back and keep going to work. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's about it for today and I just wanted to show where I'm at with it right now and how much I'm enjoying the game. It's great just to have on in the background because it's just a web browser game and when you're doing your other stuff, pop back, 
look after your horses and then I hop onto Wild Horses Valley and go through those as well. I kind of do both <laughs> and it's great. Yeah, really enjoying it. And very nice horses. I heard that they were going to be doing a art update on the Frisians and the PREs. I think that is needed because it does look a little bit outdated, the artwork on these ones. So if that happens, that'd be great. And we all know how much I love Frisians, so I would be really excited when they do the Frisian artwork. Even though I do think that the mares look fine as they are. Like, I think that's really pretty. Um, but the stallions... Probably the stallions could do with an update because if you look here, it just looks as though um, it's got a hole in its side, the way that the shading is there. I mean, it's very pretty, don't get me wrong, it's just um, yeah, not, not like as good as some of the other artworks. Oh, and I will just show you my banner that I made. Yeah, I did draw these horses myself. I do like drawing horses and I just drew it and then I flipped it over and copy pasted it and then did this little background here. My stable is Blackwater Stable, like my stable that I own on Red Dead Redemption in the Emerald Ranch roleplay. And so yes, I made this little banner. And yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing any of my artwork, I do sometimes post it on my Instagram and um, Twitter. Um, I only just made those accounts for my YouTube channel, so yeah, sometimes I post pictures of Red Dead or thumbnails of a video that I'm about to post and I pop my artwork on there too. So yes, enjoy! <laughs> I probably will do an update on when I have new foals and when I have any exciting news on the horses that I'm bidding on. If I get any new horses I'll let you know and let you know how it goes once I really start getting into the breeding for the stats and yeah, very excited. I really like this game. So that's it for today guys. Take care. Bye bye.